Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another episode here on Pastiche of Skin. We are playing a little bit of a game that actually is no longer available. I suppose it's like kind of like you can't play this or games that Yanks can't wank because Scott Pilgrim vs. The World, the game is no longer available on many of the stores due to licensing issues, uh, basically from Universal and the developers no longer being able to sell said game. I'm sure the audio is not too high. <laughs> There we go, the Universal logo, obviously probably going to get me yanked off of YouTube uh, whenever this video goes live. But yeah, um, do you guys remember Scott Pilgrim, uh, the movie? <laughs> Not that long ago. It was really enjoyable. It was uh, it, 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 it was one of those movie experiences that I went and saw it in the theater literally the day that I actually bought the Scott Pilgrim books to read. And burned through the entire run of the books while waiting for the screening of the movie I was going to see. Then watching the movie and enjoying it so much that I actually went out and bought tickets for my friends to go and see it. Because I thought it would be one of those films that they wouldn't actually go and check out of their own accord. And, you know, it, it's, a, it's a hero tale for a modern era. Where we, what battles do we have other than our emotional problems that we must kind of get over. And, um... Whenever they created this game as a scrolling beat -em up it felt so aesthetically perfect for the world that um, I enjoyed the hell out of it. The guys that made this obviously made Battle Chasers, was it, afterwards? Or something, Battlegrounds Chasers or something like that, where it was actually a series of Moe girls fighting through a number of screens. Uh, but obviously, Scott Pilgrim vs. The World, the game, uh, developed by the same uh, creator behind the Kings of Power 5 billion animation and stuff. It was a KP4B or something like that. Uh, loved the art style. It, was a, it works really well with the actual original comics. I think um, we should just jump into this and you can check out what it's like. You can ha you're going to have to source a version of this from somewhere because the, um, it, like I said, it's no longer available for the, the majority of places to be able to play it. Okay, uh, pick profile. I imagine I should be playing the one I'm actually logged into. Okay. There we go. <laughs> Why is it not playing? There we go. I don't know what the hell is going on there. Do, do, do. <laughs> right, so obviously like the uh, downloadable content is no longer available for people to play, uh, which included uh, Nice Chow and uh, Scott Pilgrim's roommate. What was his name? I can't remember. But yeah, uh, let's jump into the story mode. So, if you don't already know what Scott Pilgrim is about, essentially, it literally shows you that Scott Pilgrim is the main character. He falls in love with a girl called Ramona Flowers, and she has seven evil exes that he has to defeat to win her hand, and obviously, in the tale of actually winning her hand, like that kind of like video game style, it's not really the true story. Um, I'm going to pick either Ramona... I, Kim is actually my favorite character, so I'm going to play as her, and give her... Yeah, black and white and blue skirt. So, um, the game is easily played. It's a, essentially a, a traditional scrolling beat -em up with RPG elements to the characters that actually uh, makes the... It doesn't make it an increased amount of replayability, but you'll want to actually like max out the character so you can go through and power through the levels a lot, well, having a lot more fun with it. There is a trick to the game that allows you to... Oh, <laughs> God. God, I haven't played this in so long. There's a trick to the game that allows you to actually cheat through it, so I might actually show you whenever I get to it, what the kind of trick is. Because if you ever get the chance to play it, it'll allow you to get through the game so much faster. But the real experience of this is playing local co-op with four players on screen at the same time. We've probably all played the X-Men Arcade Machine or the Simpsons or the classic Capcom beat-em-ups, like Final Fight and stuff. There's something just aesthetically pleasing to me about the, the good old kind of scrolling brawl em ups Oh, yeah. <laughs> These are like, these are the coin munchers from whenever I was actually growing up and what I spent most of my time in my arcades playing. Oh, shit, get here. Ah, come on. I'm getting my ass kicked here. Ah, there it is. <laughs> I tried to remember what the special button move was. So, see the way you're building up currency? The game itself saves the currency to a character's profile, 
whenever you get to a later point, you can actually buy upgrades for your character using the money. And the money that you actually raise up is saved to the profile so that you can log in with a second character and take the money from them and share it with your other players. And then log that person out, restart the game, and then do it again and again until you have all of your money saved up. And whenever you do that, it allows you to actually buy... Oh, it allows you to actually buy upgrade items for your character. <laughs> God. <laughs> you can throw a guy and then use a guy to kill a guy. I'm gonna beat a motherfucker with another motherfucker. Sign time. Oh, the upgrade, <laughs> the uppercuts. Lucks you down. Ah, no! Get my ass beat. Oh! Getting so beat up. Oh, man. It feels so slow when because I remember playing this game and I'd already maxed out all the characters in it, obviously, at some point, whenever I was playing it previously. And whenever I had it, um, had already played it then, I was actually maxed out to the point where literally like one or two punches would knock out each guy and I didn't have to worry, or worry too much about <laughs> getting through the levels. But this is really slow. There we go. Now we're actually seeing our first kind of like moves that you unlock as you level up as a character. And Kim's first one is a power slide, which is actually fairly useful. It gets you in nice and close unless you actually stun them and stop them from being able to attack you for a second before you actually start in your combo. Although the fact that she pretty much just goes for a nut kick no matter what. Hey! <laughs> I knew that would work so much better. <laughs> Stay close to the pits, guys. Stay close to the pits. I nearly forgot about that boss. <laughs> oh, I can't go back. Ah, that sucks. Well, that worked, <laughs> eventually. <laughs> so yeah, picking up the money, picking up the money. Um, I might actually just go into the store and show. I think there's actually a secret door in one of these as well. That allows you to teleport to a later part of the level. It's crazy that there's actually like so many little secrets and stuff in this game that um, I need to actually go back and look up old guys to find out where the secret stuff actually was. But we'll probably just play through the first level just to give you an idea of what it's like to play through. I don't even think there's actually a boss at the end of this level, but I can't even remember. So of course, uh, the art style is wonderfully distinct. Um, I, there's not that many games that actually really look or feel like this. I mean, it's a, it's a genre that's actually like so much, um, it's been so kind of like missing. Uh, super, f yeah, like, guys, like, they're actually in the chat, you're exactly right. Super fun four player co-op, so good. Did you know that if you actually taunt with all the characters at the same time, that you can actually do a super move uh, based on the one of the scenes from the movie. Whenever they're actually playing against the the twin brothers, they actually like summon up of this giant yeti beast. And if all four characters taunt at the same time, they actually like all time up together as a band and summon that creature in to kill everything on screen. It is fucking awesome. Oh god! All right, go out of my way, guys. Ow! It's all back to the back of the head. The only thing is, it's getting the angles right for the hits. Oh, you serious? Fuck you. I'm gonna beat you down with your own friend. Beat you with your own friend! Oh, this is so annoying. Beat you with your own friend. Oh, 
<laughs> oh, this one's so gratifying about that. I'm gonna take the baseball bat with me. Ah! Knock the ball back into my own face. Oh, God! Fuck off, female kids. Yeah! <laughs> trap in a corner, trap in a corner! Boo -doo, boo -doo, where do you... So if you actually like the music from this, I highly recommend looking up a band called Anna Managuchi. Um, I'm pretty sure they did the entire soundtrack for this, but uh, they've done so many great um, like chiptune soundtrack style songs, and they have a couple of really good albums out that I highly recommend. Endless Fantasy is a particularly good one. I highly recommend. Oh, right. Yep, sorry dog. <laughs> Ow. Bounce the dog off the wall. Okay, not good. Yeah, I lost a life. <laughs> oh, God, I feel guilty whenever I'm hitting a dog. This is not a very gratifying sound. It's not very pleasant. Is it, were you angry at me because I, because I hit a dog? <laughs> I forgot how the actual ice one slides around and actually like lifts it takes you away with it. Ah, uh, that's not the door. There is a door here somewhere that actually allows you to take like a short route. Is that the one? Yeah, it is. There it is there. Any of the ones that have a star over the top that I can remember? Glitch World, where <laughs> the subspace highway where the pigs will fly. Oh, brilliant. So at least you cover a mile in a quarter of a second. Drumstick death! Die, bitch! Ah! No! Lost my glue. Lost my glue. God damn it. Hit you with your own friend! That's more like it. Oh, I missed them! You son of a bitch! Ah. So, heading into no account video. <laughs> so, right. Pretty much, this is actually what happens whenever you actually are in the game. If you actually bring in a second player, I think, can be done with this. Right, so I need to go out of here. Can I jump in? Yeah, there we go. So if you go in with another character. Okay, cool. Ah, I didn't realize you can actually stand on top of that sign. You go in there and you go in here. And you loan money. Do you know another cash in? You walk out. And uh, can't remember what the order was. Yes, I would like to pay that, but I don't have enough money. But if I go out of the here and exit game. I see if I exit game, I'm gonna have to work my way back to this point because I don't have the level completed already yet. So essentially the way the trick works is that whenever you go into the store with player one. Bring up player two, swap all the money from player two to player one, then log out of the game, then start up the game again with player one, and the player one will still have all the money from your first experience of going in, and then you bring in player two again, and they'll still have all their money, and then you add all the money again on top of that, and then you do that over and over again. Once you, like essentially what I would do is actually like play to the point where you have say two hundred dollars on one character, and then switch to another character, and then do that trade over two or three times to actually get them to be able to pay his late fees. And once you pay his late fees, then you start buying uh, skill upgrades, which you could then keep on 
maintaining that money over and over again to power up one character to a level where you can just womp through the entire game. And once you get to that point, then you're um, then you'd be able to actually uh, finish the game reasonably quickly and then go through it and level up all the characters, which then can give you an even playing field if you're playing in a four player co op game, which is really really good fun. So um, yeah, guys, I, I, I'm not gonna I'm, I'm not gonna play through more of this. Um, I would love to play through a four player co op session of this. Uh, grab a couple of my friends, sit down and play through Scott Pilgrim vs. the World, the game. And for especially for the ones who have never seen the movie, I would like to be one, we're looking forward to see what kind of interest they would have in it. Uh, again, games like this where you actually have online playability, I'd love to get some of the viewers here on the channel to actually join in for a session sometime. And we'll get a multiplayer session in and hammer through it. Probably sit on the Discord chat and enjoy ourselves, which would be really, really good fun. Uh, if you guys have enjoyed watching me play a little bit of Scott Pilgrim in the world, uh, also telling you that little quick tip, which should be a just a tip video. I might actually do a just a tip video just for this because it is such a um, a rare enough game that I don't think that many people actually do talk about tips for it. That uh, I might do it for a later video. If you're interested in that, then make sure to say in the comments underneath the video and share it around and talk about it as much as you like. Thank you very much for watching. And if you enjoyed this, then make sure to hit the subscribe button up there at the top. If you don't do the subscribe button, then that's absolutely fine. I have no problem with that. But do at least remember the name pastiche of skin all you have to do is search for that it'll be available you can find me on the googles and i'll be able to entertain you in some way shape or form guys thank you very much for watching oh wait actually one last thing uh -huh. bam youtube pop in the corner subscribe button up there over here would be the multiple playlists there'll be one here for the playlist for cold opens looking at games for the first time uh retro kid as well and many other things over the far side will be the most recent video on the channel and over here will be a video designed for you based on your youtube analytics and the things that you watch on the channel and watch on youtube in general it will pick a video based on your interest so this one is probably the one that you'll be most interested in watching and i highly recommend you check it out guys thank you very much for watching and i will see all you dudes in the next retro kid Bye.